All right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of At the Table by Urban Forex. My name is Naveen Prithiani. I'm the senior trader here at uh, Urban Forex. And uh, today I have with me on the panel um, Armo tuning in uh, from Thailand. Hello. I also have here Lucas calling in from uh, Kuala Lumpur. Hey guys, how's it going? And we have uh, Ian tuning in from uh, Brisbane, Australia. Hey there, everybody. Glad you can be here. All right, all right. So um, today we have an interesting topic here where we're talking about, you know, the journey of trading per se, you know, um, but not the journey at the absolute beginning. You know, we all go through the absolute beginning, the wonderful journey where we're, we're attracted to the industry. We jump into the industry um, and then we start learning the basic stuff, which is, all right, I'm looking at a chart, but I don't know how to read it. And then we go through that process of understanding how to read it. Seems pretty straightforward. Then we understand how a buy and a sell works, uh, hitting the buy button. We understand our softwares and all of that stuff. But then that moment after that period where we're playing around with the demo, we're going into opening live accounts, maybe blowing up an account here and there with a smaller amount. And then that journey from that moment on, what is that journey look like? What does that journey look like? So I wanted to hear about all of your experiences with it. And that's why we're here in this uh, panel together. Uh, and those of you guys who are tuning in, just want to let you guys know that as soon as we're done with this podcast, we're also going to be doing a webinar where I'm going to be showing you exactly how I went through my journey in this on the charts. Um, so if you want to tune into the webinar, the link to the webinar recording will be somewhere in the description. So coming back to it uh, on this episode, starting the journey. Okay. Lucas, you want to take it away and uh, let us know a little bit about how did you experience this? What happened in your journey? You mean like all the way in the beginning, like how I got into trading? So we've <laughs> talked about that in some of the previous episodes of how we got attracted to trading. But let's fast forward that a little bit, like another couple of months into it, where you're just learning, you're bugging your friends or whoever saying, show me how, to, how this chart works. And then you start to understand, oh, MetaTrader and all this stuff. You're like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. And yeah, in the beginning, it was pretty fun because everything is so new. You know, like uh, looking, especially looking at those YouTube videos on how to, especially when you type how to trade Forex, it's all higher highs, higher lows. You just buy at the support, sell at the resistance. Yeah. That's all you do and you're going to make money. So <laughs> everything from the beginning is, is really, really interesting and fun. Um, yeah, setting up the, the meta trader, that's fun too, in a way, the fun becomes a challenge once you get a few trades in. And then, you know, when you look back at your notes, seeing that oh, you're supposed to buy the, supposed to buy from support, but each time I buy from support, yeah, it's not a support. It keeps going lower and lower. And then, you know, when you exit, when I exit, it becomes a support. So <laughs> they were just waiting for you to exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, in the beginning it was fun, and then it becomes a challenge. And in 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 another sense, that's fun too. But um, yeah, that's how how it all began. I I think it applies for everyone. You yeah. guys agree? The, it's very fascinating that uh, early stages, isn't it? Like everything looks so fun, and it's like we're just getting started. Everything looks so promising, and it almost looks too easy. And yeah, especially in the beginning, yeah. right? Because when you get stuff incorrect, you did the wrong trade. Yeah. And since you're new, you're going to be thinking, oh, okay, yeah, well, in a few month, months time, I'm able to do take this trade from point A to point B, which is approximately like 200 pips. I'm going to reach that level in you know, a few months time. Not a problem at all. Yeah, actually, talking about that, let me ask all of you guys here on the panel. Have you guys ever, if you have, looked at a chart and said, imagine if I bought here and I sold there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens. I think we, do. I think right? we like, all do at some point in our journey. Yeah, it, it's almost like that's where, where the dream starts. It's like, if the price moved, obviously someone bought it. Why can't that be me? You know, like yeah. we, we have this <laughs> illusion of coming into this market of, hey man, like if I just did that, then we fast forward a little bit after a few losses, then we start negotiating with ourselves, right? Okay, okay, okay. 
if I just catch one of those per week, isn't that good? We fast forward a little bit, fast forward a little bit. You know what? I'm not a greedy person. 10 pips a day. I just want 10 <laughs> pips a day. You know, fast forward a little bit. You know what? As long as I have an accuracy of 52% and I'm making two R's on approximate, like doubling every time I uh, make profit, I'll do that. We've gone through that cycle. Everyone's gone through that cycle. Have you guys not? Yeah. Yep. Right. Those of you guys who are in the room, would you guys agree? Have you gone through this cycle? Right? So yeah, yeah. everyone's responding yeah. to that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What, what, what about the rest of you guys, uh, Armo? Um, what about for you? What's been your um, approach to this? Well, it's a little bit different because initially I wasn't even a- attracted to trading. You just kind of forced me into it. So I, I, I skipped part of the curiosity stage, mm-hmm. uh, but then once I, I did find an attraction to it, once explained to me that it's like a puzzle and, you know, puzzles are fun to solve. But then, you know, you have to understand what are the rules of this puzzle and, you know, started to look into it more and more, but not on YouTube. I was immediately a part of Forex Watchers at the time. It was not even Urban Forex. And yeah, just following all the basics, basic lessons and all the tools were in there. Yeah. But at the same time, still, you know, I was still looking for, okay, this helps me understand and read the market, but I want to have that ultimate precision where I can just take that move all the way from the top. Like I'm, I'm the one that's selling there and I'm the one that's closing that position all the way at the bottom. So then I started experimenting with drawing lines left and right. I remember seeing one of the senior guys in, in Forex watchers, he, he had a chart where his entry was drawn on, on a trade that he did. And I, there was also some lines drawn on there and there were like four or five lines. And I remember, remember asking him, so, the way you've drawn those lines, it always works like that, that you can pinpoint and en- your entry right there. And then he said, uh, no, no, I just, you know, draw those lines approximately. And uh, it's just, you know, for reference. Uh, and then I thought, oh, man, that's so frustrating. <laughs> I want to have that, <laughs> that, yeah. that bulletproof pinpoint answer that I can always execute and I don't have to think about it and none of my emotions will come into play. But um yeah, it took, took me some time to get over that and realize, okay, it's actually, you need to apply your mind every time. You need to manage your emotions every time. And yeah, yeah that was, that was for me. But I, I, I find that word fascinating, that p- pinpoint answer. Let me ask all of you guys, in your entire journey, you know, being in years and years and years of doing this, did you ever get that pinpoint answer saying, you know what, just do this exactly? <laughs> yeah, no. And then you, you, you won't, you will need to throw away your wallet because the money is so much that your wallet can't handle it. No, <laughs> it's just, well, that's one of those things that you think when you start trading is that uh, at some point yeah. I'll be the one that's actually moving the market. So then I can do whatever I want. I'll make uh, money left and right. <laughs> yeah, it's, that, that journey is so frustrating. In, in initially it's like, there's gotta be an answer somewhere and I'm pretty internet savvy. So I searched the web top to down, top to bottom. Like I tore it apart. I'm like, someone's got to have the answer. Like, (laughs) so I'm (laughs) strategy searching all, all across all day, all night strategy searching over and over and over again. I'm like, someone's got to have that. Just do this, then do that, then do this, win. Just do this, then do that, then do this, win. My goodness, (laughs) I, I, I hunted down people. I hunted down strategies, signal services, moving averages, you name it. Everything underneath the sun I sought after. And yet the answer was not found of just do this, you'll be fine. The only thing left for me to do is shake hands with some people, hire up people and then do inside trading. That's the only thing left. <laughs> it's like, but I'm not going that route, you know. Yeah. Okay. What, what about you, Ian? I haven't heard from you yet. What is your, what is your take on this? What, what have you been going through with I'm, it? I'm similar, I suppose, to what you just said. I did a lot of searching. Um, I, I didn't originate from any kind of tech or computer background. I mean, I'm a, actually a tradesman by, by trade all my years, and I just 
wanted a way out. So for me, it started, you know, that's, this is my way out. I saw everybody else on YouTube making to everybody on YouTube makes 200 pips a day. So, so I figured, <laughs> well, heck, then I just got to like basically search all of these different videos. Cause there's gotta be a thousand um, different ways to do it. I just got to pick which one's right for me. And I, I definitely sampled the menu more than a few times, you know, with the different courses out there on YouTube and signal services, similar to what you just said, yeah. um, without any, well, you get results. I won't say that none of them never get your results, but nothing's consistent. Yeah. Um, and nothing provided me that, um, the actual, why am I doing this every day? Actually, I found out about Naveen and Urban Forks through the signal service um, company that I was with or using oh. at the time. Someone put one of your videos there. Oh, okay. check this guy out. And it was the first time someone seemed to actually explain, you know, it wasn't just a line and you're just entering it because it's a line on your chart. It was like actual reason, you know, and then that's what kind of took me down that rabbit hole, led me to Urban Forks and then you know, that's why we preach all the time, like knowing your system, um, knowing uh, the why, knowing the story. I've never um, heard of this story like before. I, I didn't know that's how you came yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was someone on one of those signal service or forums or I was on and yeah, we posted and then that's where, that's what I was looking for the whole time. But because usually it was just like, you just, well, like everyone said, right? You just buy, sell, support and, but yeah. why? So do we actually have a signal service that we're not aware of? No, no, there's <laughs> no. no signal service, no signal service, no oh. signal service. And, and if we do, we'll announce it. If we do, we'll announce it. But right as of right now, nothing, no signal service, no telegram, um, oh. no TikTok yet. You won't see me shaking my butt in TikTok anytime soon. So that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Too bad. Yeah, well, that, that would have been a hit. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Well, I'm not sure, but you know, it would be fun for me to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, so I'm just saying I got one good thing out of being in all of those different like programs and stuff. Someone, I don't know who it was out there in the world, but someone did share your video uh, in that place. And so that's what you know, led me here. So, all right. Well, whoever that guy is, if you're watching this podcast, just know Ian is very happy that you've done this. In fact, yeah. Push it several years down the line. Ian going through that process is now a funded prop trader at Urban Forex as well. And he's on the team. So whoever that person did the posting, I think uh yeah. Ian changed my part. life. Like I just changed my whole life. That one that one share. So one there share can go a whole long way. So there you go. There you go. So, but isn't it let's take a step back from that. Isn't it still very frustrating? Like all the services we joined, there seems to be hope but never the answer there's always hope there and i i'm not saying all of these mentors are doing a bad job they're all doing their part right they're, they're all trying to get you better but with the hope and the knowledge that they're sharing it's almost like are you doing any better yourself where is this knowledge coming from is this just a rehashed material of the other youtube guy and he's rehashing off the other YouTube guy and he's rehashing off the other YouTube guy. It's like a bunch of blind people walking each other saying, follow me, hold my hand and I'll walk you through. Like it's, it's sort of, sort of really weird, but they all mean well, that's the worst part or that's the scary part. They all mean well, they all want their students to do well, yeah. but what, what can you do if the information is not out there? How does a trader flourish if everything he's encountered with is with good intentions, but with bad information. How do you how do you counter that? There's almost like it's already hard as is to trade, which is 95.5, right? 95% lose, 5% make it. You top that off with bad information. Oh man, it's like the little guy is left with no choice. He's just bombarded by whoever has the most money to spend on marketing. And they stand up right in front of you and saying, hey, look at me. And my Ferrari in my background, this is how I did it. So this is how you can do it. You know, it's it's so frustrating. It's like we go through all that, but no one seems to have the answer. All right? Would you guys agree? Yeah. What about you guys in the, in, in the room who are here live? Would you guys agree that that you personally might have tried multiple, multiple different services and you're going through that frustration of like 
someone's got to have the damn answer. You know, it can't just be this loop of a circle all day, every day, year after year, year after year. And this is why we try to be different. We try to be different. We don't come out there and saying, you know what? Five days, download this PDF, you're going to make it. You know what? Ten days, you know, join my chat room, you're going to make it. Join this Telegram group and then I'm going to give you a signal service and you're going to be minting money. You're going to be sitting at the bank saying, bring me the manager so he can count my money while licking his lips. You know, come on. Like, <laughs> there's, there's, uh, there, there's a bit of ridiculousness to it, you know. But the hope is there. So let's let's flip it around and ask that same question. Is dreaming to do well from this market, is that bad? No, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. The dream is not incorrect. It's the information that's coming towards the dream, unfortunately, to use to accomplish your dreams. That's incorrect. That's where the problem lies is we're vetting our information from the wrong sources. Yeah, and they make it look very attractive with all, offering all kinds of shortcuts like signal services and stuff. But you know, if you use a signal service, you're not you're not a trader. You're just you know following somebody with a doubtful track record, I suppose. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. And th think about it this way. Think about it this way. Just you know, for all of you guys to just take a open ponder to the thought. If a, a firm, a signal service, or any firm is churning 30% month after month. Why is that person busy selling a service for $50 a month or $100 a month when he could be working for a bank raking in $4 million a year in salary? That doesn't make any sense. You know, as much as he says, oh, but I want to work for myself and this and that, I get it, man. I get it, man. But at the end of the day, you're going to turn down 4 mil as a salary? That's when you, you start to think like, no, banks would soup them up immediately and saying, you know what, we'll even give you a private jet, come work for us. They will not hear a no, they will find you, they will recruit you. Yeah, and also from the other side, as a customer of a signal service, so you're, you're going to rely on this signal service and then what happens when it stops, then are, are you done as a trader? Correct, absolutely, absolutely. I, I was just going to say the idea of being a trader is generally for your freedom, at least that's what it is for a lot of people. I mean, your yeah. freedom isn't that the definition of freedom isn't relying on someone else supplying this because they can always, anybody can always go away. The definition of freedom is getting the right knowledge and learning it yourself because then you, then you are truly free at that point. You don't, you know, everything could close down and you can still trade. Right. So exactly. To be fair, I think most newbie or most new traders that are coming into the markets, they tend to, you know, walk through this path. Even me myself walked through like scams before. So I think without, you know, people like signal service, uh, people providing signal service, uh, they won't really, you know, get the person to grow into looking for the right type of education that's really out there. Yeah, yeah, and and it's it's stuff like that that, uh, you know, it's that's. It's that part. I'm not going to, you know, mention any companies or anything like that. It's just the industry, unfortunately, is tainted by that due to less regulation. But once the regulation kicks in, all of these guys will disappear. All of them. All of them. They're going to run as far as they can from authorities. They will all disappear. Okay. So it's just a matter of time, but until then, the little guy's got to learn to be smart. So let's talk about that. How do you learn to be smart? If you're new to this industry, you just learned how to do the basic stuff and you're bombarded, surrounded by, should I do a signal service? Should I do a automated trading robot? Should I learn how to do this myself? Should I find a mentor? Should I ask my friend and just follow what my friend does? Or should I watch CNBC or Bloomberg? There's so many options. What should I do? What I should see I do? somebody in the comments saying, uh, it's, it's a famous saying, he's saying, teach a man how to fish and you feed him for life. So, you know, if you want to know how to fish, you have to find somebody who can teach you how to fish. Um, yeah, but I, 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 get, I get that. Or, or anything like that. I get that. I, I like fishing like the next guy, right? <laughs> <It's> like, I, <laughs> but, 
the the whole point is if 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 we say let's say i'm a newbie i didn't want to actually learn it if i knew why go through this process when someone who has an experience of 10 years i can just copy him it sounds so right doesn't it it sounds like oh i can just copy him and he's gonna charge me what 50 dollars a month or 50 percent of my profits okay yeah let me just do that it sounds easy and it's it's the thing that we all get attracted to and saying okay you know what you're the experienced guy you do it the shortcuts the shortcut yeah. and that's the shortcut that always goes Wacha! gotcha come here buddy another one bites the dust you know <laughs> so that's the problem that's the problem that's the problem and 2009 is when going forward into this, when, when we started saying, okay, enough, enough. And that's when Urban Forex took birth. Okay, we wanted to stick out for that particular reason. We don't advertise, we're purely word of mouth. We work purely on learning. Do you understand what you're doing? No strategy, no strategy, no A plus B plus C plus D. Do you know what you're doing? If yes, you're on your way to becoming a trader. Because we're surrounded by traders and we're surrounded by senior traders also, people who are even better than us. But trading is not a direct representation of, uh, if you do well, then you don't trade, you sit in a casino and with girls surrounded by you and you're inside some jacuzzi with some champagne bottles. That's <laughs> media, that's media, but that's, that can happen on the weekends. <laughs> that can happen. There's a jacuzzi in your casino? There, there's always a jacuzzi in some casino. Trust me. <laughs> it's like every casino's got a jacuzzi somewhere. <laughs> but that's how we're, we're all attracted. You know, if you look at rap videos or any of the stuff, they target a certain type of audience that is trying to sort of get rich or die trying. And that's where the Forex industry, unfortunately, turns negative. Get rich or die trying, which means if I cross the line and go unethical, they don't care. And that's where the line needs to be drawn. It's like, oh, this is no longer a clean business. This is now turning dirty. Yeah. And then when we see all these funding companies starting to show up suddenly, we will fund you. We will fund you. It's like, whoa, what, what, what the hell is going on? It's getting tainted and tainted and tainted. Uh, it's not so far away from it getting labeled as welcome to binary trading, where it's going to get shut down. Every government's going to come after it. All right. So reversing back the loop, is trading bad? No, 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 definitely. absolutely not. Absolutely not. So let's talk about what are the good stuffs about trading? What have you guys have taken out the good stuff? We talked about all the bad stuff and all the scary stuff that we all went through and i'm sure everyone listening to this is what they're going through it's all very scary right it's like oh my god so then where do i begin um if all of this is going to come at me do i have to go through that to get on to the other side is this like a uh the journey one must take what if that's a question a listener is thinking about what would you guys say to that i guess it's not a journey that sometimes you cannot really avoid but on the other side of that journey, it's, it's pretty quite rewarding once you know what you're doing, you know, you know what you're looking for in the markets. That part is pretty rewarding, especially if you did, you know, went through the, the dirty part in the beginning. Correct. Yeah. So, so that's the thing. And that's the one part that unfortunately cannot be fixed. So let me give you guys an example. If the first girlfriend you have is evil, and then the next girlfriend you have is evil. Does that automatically make all future girlfriends going to be evil? No, it just See, makes it's you very... bad at, at finding a nice girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, <laughs> so, yeah, you got to get good at getting a good girlfriend. That's the one thing. But then it also can put you in the mood of you got to be careful. You got to be careful. But by saying that this won't work for me, you might not carve your way through either. You got to learn from your mistakes and carve your way through, carve your way through. So like that's, that's the unfortunate downside to this is the ones who, who trade well, 
they might not be on your billboard or they might not be on your sponsored YouTube watch list or they might not be on your Instagram ad showing up over and over again because they're not interested in getting that type of crowd. You're going to have to look for them. You're going to have to find them out. Chances are they're not the popular ones. Yeah. They How weird wouldn't, wouldn't care. All they want to do is just to trade, right? All they want to do is trade. They're not interested in saying, you know what? I'm going to record today. I'm going to record tomorrow. I'm going to record day after. It's all about making content. Good. Make your content. When do you trade? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. if you don't trade, then what are you doing with your content? You know, it doesn't make any sense. So I hope these discussions brings a new trader into some light that even if he steps into the wrong service or program or education, at least he can be more aware faster and saying, well, something doesn't feel right here. Time to back off. I think it's, I think it's a common thing. Like I said, we've all had the pretty much a similar story. It's all been a work in progress in the beginning you know, yeah. making our way to urban forex. And, and, and honestly, even once you get to the trading part, it's, it goes hand in hand with that, that um, you're going to have some setbacks, you know, like trading isn't just an overnight thing, like it's made out to be. So yeah. that, those are things you have to work with. And it's about persistence, both in the starting to find your education and, and even when it comes to trading. So it's yeah, you know, the persistence and patience. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that's been our missions ever since, right? It's like, how do we make it easier and faster, easier and faster, not fast, like tomorrow I get you rich. No, 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 no. How do I make sure you understand what I'm trying to say very quickly so you can apply it very quickly? Okay. That means your journey can shorten, but your journey doesn't just disappear and saying you got a shortcut. As long, just because you join urban forex tomorrow you're rich no 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 we never say that we never want to say that we never will say that because that's not possible it's humanly not possible you yeah, can't shortcut skill, it every skill takes time to to master correct yeah. correct so to end the podcast we're going to end with our famous note of if you want to be earning more than doctors, lawyers, and pilots combined. If they can put in a minimum of eight years of hard work to get those salaries, you can't put in one? You're in that much of a hurry to do it less than one year? Less than one month? Okay, if you're going to beat their salaries, you got to learn to understand that you got to be better than them smarter than them, more efficient than them. Okay. Otherwise, why would there be any doctors on this planet? They would just be like, yeah, I'll just trade. It's so easy. I just got to get this signal service and we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, you want to go with the reality of life and say, stay with your pace, be real and to be honest, this will be very deterrent to 80% of the people listening because 80% of the people are still hopeful that things can be done in a shortcut. And that 80% audience is not for us, is not for us. And we're okay with that. We're okay with that. They, they will unfortunately get scammed one after the other, one after the other, going from one service to the next, to the next, to the next. What we're interested in is if you're more real, if you understand that life takes time, wealth is built little by little, skills are built little by little, you need to talk to us. You need to talk to us. Okay? We can then turn you into a diamond, but it takes time to polish. It takes time. You guys agree? All of you guys who are in this room live, you guys agree to that? You guys have the strength and power to push through and take it day after day rather than saying, I need a shortcut. I need a shortcut. I need a shortcut. Can I get a hell yes? <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. All right. All of you guys tuning in. If this, if this podcast motivates you to be better than who you are, then make sure you hold on to that thought and really push forward and stop with this little shortcut nonsense. Chances are you'll be burned.
Okay, I'm saying chances. There might be one odd company out there that can get you a shortcut because they're trading for you on your behalf. But 99.9999999% of the time, you're going to be burned. Do not look for shortcuts. Just doesn't happen. Having that said, thank you guys, all of the all of you guys here on the panel, Lucas, Armo, and Ian. It's very nice to have you guys and hear you guys' opinions time and time again. Uh, until we meet in the next episode, thank you guys for being here. All right. Thank you for having us. See you guys. See you guys.